How Mohammed bin Salman spends his two trillion dollars fortune. Meet Mohammed bin Salman, the 35-year-old Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia, who is at the center of human rights issues and drops hundreds of millions of his family fortune on yachts, mansions, and artwork. Known as MBS, the Crown Prince is the driving force behind Saudi Arabia's attempts to modernize and is seen as the true power in the kingdom. The 35-year-old is the public face of the House of Saud, with the collective wealth of its members estimated to be well over $2 trillion. It is an astounding figure. Nearly 16 times higher than the British royals, their riches stem from the vast oil reserves uncovered in Saudi Arabia, more than 75 years ago during the reign of King Abdullah Zibins. While the family normally likes to keep their fortune private, Prince Salman is believed to live a life of almost inconceivable luxury. He is known for his lavish spending, luxury properties and is even rumored to be the owner of the world's most expensive painting and he was thought to have been part of the failed big money deal to buy Newcastle United, after missing out on Manchester United, both English Premier League teams. In 2015, the world was left stunned when an unnamed buyer splashed over $300 million on an incredible chateau in France, just west of Paris. When the Chateau Louis XIV sold for that unbelievable amount, Fortune magazine called it the world's most expensive home in town and country swooned over its gold-leafed fountain, marble statues and hedged labyrinth. Set in a 57-acre landscaped park, but for all the lavish details one fact was missing. It later turned out that the paper trail leads to Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, heir to the Saudi throne and the driving force behind a series of bold policies transforming Saudi Arabia and shaking up the Middle East. The story of Chateau Louis XIV as pieced together through interviews and documents unfolds like a financial whodunit featuring a lawyer in the Grand Duchy of Luxembourg and a fixer for the very rich from the Mediterranean nation of Malta. Even Kim Kardashian made a cameo at the chateau, reportedly considering it for her wedding to Kanye West. The ownership of the chateau in France near Versailles is carefully shrouded by shell companies in France and Luxembourg. Those companies are owned by Eight Investment Company, a Saudi firm managed by the head of Crown Prince Mohammed's personal foundation advisors to members of the royal family say the chateau ultimately belongs to the Crown Prince. Along with more standard flourishes for top-of-the-line properties like wine cellar and movie theater, the rotunda features an exquisite fresco on the ceiling. While the moat includes a transparent underwater chamber with a sturgeon and koi swimming overhead a statue of Louis XIV made of Carrera marble stands watch over the grounds the property boasts 10 bedrooms, an indoor and outdoor pool, a library and an aquarium. The aquarium doubles as a meditation room and features a transparent underwater chamber. Alongside this property, the prince is also believed to own the Les Rouge estate, a 620-acre, lot of land and hours drive from Paris. Continuing with his splurge, the prince reportedly bought the most expensive painting ever. News that Saudi Arabia's crown prince bought the $450 million Leonardo da Vinci painting came as a shock to the Western world, but to those who have followed him, it was just one in a series of his jaw-dropping purchases. Prince Mohammed was the mystery buyer of Leonardo da Vinci's Saboteur Mundi which was auctioned off at Christie's in 2017 for close to half a billion dollars. The highest price ever paid for a work of art. Normally news of a wealthy and powerful member of Saudi Arabia's royal family buying a piece of art would not raise any interest, but the timing of this purchase was notable. It came just two weeks after Crown Prince Muhammad launched an anti-corruption campaign rounding up more than 200 Saudi businessmen ministers and princes most are being detained at a luxury hotel in the capital Riyadh. And if all that wasn't enough, the prince is building a $500 billion megacity on a huge 10,200 square mile site along the Red Sea named Neom. The development will be 17 times the size of London and will be run on 100 renewable energy. It will become a cross-border city-state with its own economic zone and more relaxed laws than the rest of Saudi Arabia. Salman hopes his city will be able to surpass Silicon Valley in terms of technology and overtalk Hollywood as the world's entertainment capital. When it comes to partying, no one does it better than our guy. In 2015, 
he held one of the biggest parties ever held on earth by an individual some 150 beautiful women flown in from Brazil, Russia and elsewhere were ferried to a private island in the Maldives to party.